When you look at the adorable wild Japanese snow monkeys, you might not realize that something unusual is going on. They're happily relaxing in their hot springs, seemingly without a care in the world. But beneath their furry coats, inside their bodies, there's a hidden issue that has intrigued both scientists and nature lovers. You see, these monkeys have been exposed to radiation, and in this video, we'll dive into why they've become radioactive and what impact it has had on them. The Japanese snow monkey, also known as the Japanese macaque, is a type of monkey that only lives in Japan. People often call them snow monkeys because some of them live in places where it snows a lot for many months each year. They're the only monkeys in the world that live so far north and in such a cold place. Some of the most famous Japanese snow monkeys live in the Jigokudani Monkey Park in Nagano. What makes them truly special is that they're probably the only monkeys in the world that take hot baths in natural hot springs. Now don't worry, these unique, hot tub loving snow monkeys are not radioactive. Today we're here to discuss another group of monkeys that in fact have a radioactive story to tell. These specific monkeys reside in the Fukushima region, and their tale is quite different from the cozy hot spring soakers living in the West. You might have heard about Fukushima in connection with a nuclear power plant that had a meltdown in March 2011 when a tsunami hit the plant. This accident released a lot of nuclear material into the surrounding area. It was such a big problem that around 300,000 people had to leave their homes, making it the second largest nuclear disaster after the one in Chernobyl in 1986. One of the consequences of this disaster was the contamination of the surrounding land and water with radioactive isotopes. This nuclear material, of course, had an effect on the wildlife near the nuclear plant, including Japanese snow monkeys. They were exposed to this radioactive contamination through their natural habitat, which includes forests and streams. They consumed contaminated food and water sources. And scientists have found that over time, some individuals in these populations accumulated higher levels of radioactive isotopes in their bodies. But how has the radiation affected the monkeys? After studying the monkeys near the nuclear plant, scientists compared their findings to monkeys in the same area before 2011 and to a control population of monkeys in Shimokita Peninsula, 500 miles to the north. They found three significant differences. First, the monkeys born after the disaster tend to be smaller for their height compared to those born before. In simpler terms, they're not growing as big as they should. Additionally, the exposed monkeys have smaller bodies in general, and their heads and brains are also smaller. This is similar to what happened to some human babies in Hiroshima and Nagasaki after the atomic nuclear bombings, where their brains didn't develop properly, resulting in smaller heads. Another health issue observed in these monkeys is anemia, which means they have lower levels of various blood components, including red and white blood cells. It's like they have a shortage of important blood-related stuff. This is similar to what happened to children in Chernobyl after the nuclear accident there. In essence, the monkeys in Fukushima are facing health problems related to their size, brain development, and blood composition, possibly due to exposure to radiation from the nuclear disaster. Now you might wonder, do these radioactive monkeys pose a threat to humans? Well, let's put it this way. If you decide to chow down on these radioactive monkeys, you might just end up with some level of radioactivity. But fear not, because nobody's snacking on the Fukushima monkeys, they're completely harmless. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment. See you next time.